It's the Sony VPL XW 7000 4K laser projector versus the Sony Z9K 8K mini LED master drive TV. It's top of the line flagship Sony versus flagship Sony projector versus TV. Who wins? Up next. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Brian. This is Tech Therapy. Today is a comparison of the 4K flagship XW7000 laser projector from Sony going against its own Sony 8K Z9K flagship master drive mini LED flagship projector versus flagship TV. This is a conversation many of us have had throughout the years since the beginning of AV. However, as TVs get larger, they are starting to invade the place of projectors, which was at large immersive sizes in dedicated rooms. We also have short throw projectors or laser TVs, all converging at this 100 inch size. Now, projectors were always extremely expensive and out of reach for many of us. This is also the top of the line, so it is not exactly cheap. However, the 97-inch OLEDs are also about 25000 So they're all kind of conversion where the short throw projectors are in this affordable place. Also returning from the Value Electronics 2022 projector shootout, which ran for two days in Manhattan. Saturday was the short throw portion, and then Sunday was the long throw i was admittedly only able to get there for one of the days which is why this video is not really covering it and i didn't cover much of the event but i was very happy to be there i will post some of the scorecards and winners here on the screen to check the results in a more thorough way with the scorecards go to valueelectronics.com or go to robert zones twitter where he has various articles covering the shootout. Awesome event. I will show you some of the event, some of the products, some of the short throw products. It was very cool to be there. Special thank you to Robert and Wendy Zahn of Value Electronics, not only for having me at the shootout, but for supplying both the 4K laser projector and the Z9K 8K Master Series. Check the description below for all their information. Very cool event. Um, I love this comparison. I love this conversation as all of these products converge. Who will win? Which will you prefer? Let's discuss. Let's go to the footage. Thank you for watching. All right, guys, here we are at the shootout. It was held at the same venue as the TV shootout in the last few years. Awesome event. I believe there were 12 long throw projectors here. And you'll see the 7000, which we we'll call on the XW7000, the 7000 from this point forward, as well as JVC, LG, Samsung, which was also in the short throw category. Very amazing event. Gorgeous seeing how they're set up. I believe, like I said, there were 12 long throw. Uh, but check out their website and Robert's Twitter for all of the actual results. And you can get the specificity of all of the scores. Want to show you a little bit of footage of how everything was laid out at the shootout. You'll see the Z9K and the 7000 go head to head at about the seven minute mark. So feel free to fast forward there. But I do love to show you how they had them set up and how gorgeous these projectors look. Not an easy feat to have these all compared. Had a great time there. I wish I was there for the short throw portion, but that does lead me to the conversation of where do you feel projectors are in comparison to TVs, whether it's short throw projectors or laser TVs as they're called by the actual manufacturers. There's the JVC and long throw projectors. As the prices come down on the long throw and the short throw, which are actually pretty value-based in terms of pricing in comparison to these larger TVs. So the reason why I wanted to show this comparison and give you some background on it was primarily this is what makes me think of which one would you prefer. Now these are very high end. The Sony is uh, the 7000 is 27,000 I believe at launch. Z9K is very expensive as well. I'll put the prices of those up. But other than those very high-end categories, I kept thinking to myself, which would I prefer? 
TV or projector. Those are now closer than ever in terms of pricing and availability. Here you're looking at the AWOL um, projector, laser projector. They have an entire kiosk or credenza that folds in. Many of their products, they have their own short throw projector, laser projector as well. This was all one piece. And they also have inside uh, the Vivid Storm projector screen that we also showed on the channel, which is motorized, which can come up from the bottom or the top. And I want to show you these products because they are kind of invading TV space now. Here's a very bright room, and that projector hangs in there. This is all in one huge piece. They do sell projectors separately. As you can see, it's there built into the piece. Very elegant. It actually flips up. And then our guys at Vivid Storm, who also have these motorized projection screens that come up from the bottom or the top. And the only reason why I show you this portion, again, is to show you how versatile some of these products are and how they jump in and invade those of us that love TVs. I will always be a TV guy first. As we move into the comparison, as you look at the Sony XW7000, and the Sony Z9K, this is the 75 inch. The screen is also 75 versus a hundred inch. We'll move right into the comparison. You can see the comparison here, very hard to capture both of these, that while the Sony is one of the brightest laser projectors at 4K, you can see where the Z9K is a good deal brighter without the blacks suffering. Now the challenge with a lot of projectors is brightness while retaining black level or not a strong black level as TVs. However, again, this is one of the brightest Sony projectors. This comparison was shot a few months back as soon as the Sony had released. It was only a couple days after its launch, the 7000. The Z9K had been out for a while, but you can see the Z9K pushes as far as brightness. The Backlight Master Drive does a great job with the Z9K, both the 75 and 85. Now you can see where the blacks do get lifted on the projector, but I will say in the projector, think filmic, think vivid, but think rich. And that's how this comparison goes as we're going in here trying to find like for like, which isn't quite as easy. The menu isn't exactly the same as you would see on an LG short throw and an OLED, which you would see as though the same manufacturer, the colors are similar, which you'll see they're nearly identical. Neither one of these is calibrated, by the way. But I love the natural look that Sony always displays. Colors, picture quality. They are in accurate presets. There are times where they look identical. But say to yourself, do you like the richness of the projector as well as the size and immersion? Now, having us film so far back, you do lose uh, the size, the scale. But keep in mind, you're looking at 100 inches versus 75 inches. There are times, again, where they're very identical. But there are times also where the projector will make the... Sorry, the light is hitting me there. It'll make the Z9K look like it's washing itself out at times. I like this comparison, same manufacturer, both the brightest in their class, instead of having the, um, the 7000 go against an OLED or a Z2. Now I'll put some of the specs up on the screen so you can see in regards to the Sony 7000 specs, what it entails. Lumens don't exactly transfer or transfer over to nits. They're not comparable. We can agree they both look amazing. Now, again, the price point um, is very expensive. Again, this projector had just released at the time. I believe it's twenty five to 27000 These aren't exactly affordable, though the Z9K is much cheaper. It is also 8K. But think of which you would like as we move into a more vivid demo here. 
Now, the comparison we had done earlier, which I can't show you, we did those on stills, was the Dark Knight, which you saw a little picture of in the beginning. Unfortunately, due to copyright, can't show you that. The thing that was very common in that comparison, again, was richness and filmic of the projector. Now, what I love about projectors is regardless of uh, grain or anything that looks noisy, it looks so natural on the projector where on a TV, even an 8K TV, that does come across as a noisy image and grain can sometimes be a detriment where on a projector, even something that is low resolution looks wonderful with that grain structure. Sony has very good blacks. So the Sony Z9K, it's why at least having a brighter mini LED compared to this projector shows how well they both do. But you can see there are times where the Z9K looks blown out. Some of that is the camera trying to capture both, again, is difficult. Moving into more of our demo material, you see this from LG. You guys have seen a lot of these demos before. Again, I apologize, hard to capture them both. But again, seeing them from the same manufacturer is pretty cool. Now, for you guys, if money was no object, would you have a projector? For me, personally, gaming is still a ways off in terms of the higher end, how the input lag is. All the features aren't quite available on projectors, though there are more affordable gaming projectors out there from a lot of the other manufacturers. I'll be at CES in a few weeks where you'll see a lot more short throw projectors and we'll see some of those live. I'll film some of those for you. But a lot more competitors in the short throw space. Would you consider that? Hisense, LG. Z9K, 8K. Again, also with 8K, what are your thoughts? Is 8K more viable or less viable? They're cracking down in Europe. Does that make you want to hesitate? But as we move towards size, 4K TVs like the X92, the QN90A at 98 inches, 100 inches are way up there in price. Now you're in projector land even with a screen. The part that no one talks about in regards to projectors, though, is projectors, the screen is yours to keep. You can always upgrade your projector and replace it where a 100-inch TV, that TV staying there. It's not something you can really sell or even give away. Can't give your aunt a 100-inch X92 or QN90A or QN90B or anything like that. As we move into the last part of our demo material, this is Jennifer Gala, good friend Jennifer Gala, who also has the HCR Super Channel. Check her out. Beautiful content. The depth is there on both, but tell me what you see. Do you see them looking very similar? You will see in some of the demos where even though the blacks look uniform on the projector, they are lifted. Now, while the Z9K does have some blooming, instead of blooming around small objects, it'll, it'll gradually get a bit brighter, make the blacks look lifted as well. It's not quite as obvious going against the projector. So the blacks actually look better on the Z9K because it's not going against the Z2 or an OLED. It's going against the projector, which doesn't have the best blacks. I think they both look amazing. JVC has an extremely strong lineup as well with their 8 and 9. I believe the JVC actually won the long throw and the LG won the short throw. The ZV9, I believe, is the one that won. But they both look fantastic. But I am curious to you guys. See a little bit of blooming there on the Z9K. What are your thoughts? You'll see the lifted blacks here as we move into some of the Spears and Munsell demo material. There it is there. We can see the blacks are slightly lifted on the projector. Now we are in a completely bright or I'm sorry, completely blacked out studio that we have there where it is no light at all other than from our cameras and our equipment, which is again, very little. There it is. You can see where the black level is raised. Now, if you remove the TV and watch this on its own, it's not nearly as visible. 
which so many of these comparisons are that way. So many of these comparisons you'd see where a black level wouldn't bother you if it wasn't next to an OLED or something that had a better level. So comparisons are important in that regard. Colors are spot on, very accurate. All the signature things that Sony is known for. But for me, no matter the projector I've seen, I still personally favor a TV. But I could see having a short throw for sports, a short throw for a Super Bowl party, watching daily streaming. But as far as dedicated, I'm still a contrast ratio guy. I'm still a gamer. I would still favor TVs myself. But again, as the TVs get larger and more expensive, they become permanent fixtures in your home where projectors can be switched out. What do you think the future of projectors are? Please let me know in the comments. Is it short throw? Is it laser TVs? Are you looking more at these long throw TV or uh, projectors as they come down in price, as they get better with HDR? Both, by the way, are in HDR. You can see the black level there on the left. Though the detail is more present on the projector, sometimes the brightness hurts the Z9K. But these are, again, an HDR system said that in the very beginning, but they both look amazing. For me, I would take the Z9K, but that's just preference. But the richness of the projector is undeniable. The times where it looks more natural, I would say it looks more natural the majority of the time, where the brightness of the Z9K could perhaps make it look washed out or less natural. Z9K being one of the brightest TVs out there this year, if not the brightest. They both look phenomenal. We'll see the sparks flying here. And the warmth of the projector at times, even though they're set to the same color, the warmth of the projector is obvious. So think richness, grain structure, and retaining that filmic look. You'll always have that with a projector. All right, guys, I am Brian. This is Tech Therapy again. Special thank you to Value Electronics. I will see you in the comments. Love you guys. Take care.